our Lord is condemned to death. It doesn't seem fair. What did he ever do to deserve it? Chesterton said if Christ would come back, we would not crucify him. We're much too civilized for that. We'd simply invite him to dinner and make fun of everything he says. How many carry crosses they never asked for, condemned for their past, chastised for their present, despairing for their future, crucified in the name of Christian righteousness or religious piety, condemned for their color, their race, their dialect, or their belief, condemned because they were told they were ugly, incapable, dumb, or incompetent, condemned for their personal preference, crucified for their personal limitation. Unfortunately, the condemnation is not to death, but to life, a life of shame, anger, and worthlessness that comes only because one is black, white, Jew, Gentile, gay, straight, rich, poor, productive, impaired, handicapped, able-bodied, single, divorced, educated, ignorant. The condemnation that is laid upon us all, some of us did not ask for it. None of us deserve it. Let us pray. Lord, help me to recognize you not only in the saints and the martyrs and those we consider holy, but help me to see you in the innocence of the children, the wrinkles of the aged, the fears of the confused, and the cries of the angry. Help me never to be the executor of the present, who condemned you centuries ago on a cross, and now uses mere words to condemn you today in the name of God, whoever we have made him to be. Our Lord is condemned to death. For you there, oh, when they crucify, when they crucify the Lord. If you were there, when they crucify the Lord. Oh, sometimes it bothers me. Oh, it makes me want to tremble. Don't it make you want to tremble? I was there. Oh, when they crucify, when they crucified the Lord. Whoa. 